traffic. You can see the, the trees took a beating here in rural Renfrew, but fortunately there wasn't any word of people hurt, certainly no lives lost, but it was an encounter that shook a lot of people who got to see the tornado and its results up close. The tornado force winds brought down half a tree that's been outside 89 year old farmer Charles Rasp's home since he was a boy. It came close to crushing the Forward Township house as the weather woke him. Before my feet hit the floor when I got out of bed, I mean it was a matter of seconds. There's plenty of property damage on Nancy Gill's 16 acre property. She and her husband could hear and feel the tornado just past their Renfrew home. I heard this roar, this noise, this roar, and I jumped out of bed and ran over to close that window. And the wind coming through that window was so strong, so powerful, I knew it was more than any windstorm we've ever had before. Further down Rival Road, Lisa O'Hagan had her own close encounter with the Butler County tornado. So I was in my barn when the wind started blowing up and then um, it just uh, sounded like a freight train coming and uh, the trees started crashing down at that point and leaves were everywhere and limbs. On other properties you can see parts of cornfields laid low, tops of some trees torn off. A fallen tree knocked out power to Rasp's milk house, leaving his cows restless. Rasp turns 90 next month, and he is taking it in stride. What are your thoughts about the tornado? It was a damn weak tornado. <laughs> You're not impressed? No, no, I'm not. So cleanup continuing here in Butler County in the rural area of Renfrew into the evening, into the weekend. Reporting live in Butler County, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.